Welcome to March in the Digital Marketing Therapy Podcast. I am so excited that we are going to be theming our months and giving you a deep dive into a particular topic each month. March is all about your website and how you can maximize it to make the most for your organization, get better conversions, have better success, and maybe even fix some of the mistakes that you're currently making. So I will be posting a episode at the beginning of every month to give you a sneak peek at to what you're going to be learning um, throughout the month so you can get them ready, get excited, um, and be ready to listen when new episodes release on Tuesday. So here's what we have on the rundown for you in March. The first episode is going to be all about calls to action. I'm going to give you seven different calls to action that you can use on your website and where you can use them. This is one of the big mistakes that I see organizations make and not really driving people to where we need them to go once they've landed. Let's help them make that decision and get them where they need to go. Then I will have an episode 195. Kara Duncan of the Care Report is going to be here to talk about the language that we use on our website and why that's critically important to engage with people and to keep them coming back and to get them to dive deeper in with you on your goals and understand kind of who you are and what you're doing and how you're supporting the community around you. Uh, then episode 196 is Danny McGregor with the charity design company. And she's going to be sharing some mistakes you're probably making on your website that you might not even realize and quick fixes to get them fixed, quick fixes to get them fixed. <laughs> um, but ways that you can update that so that you're not making these common mistakes. Um, so you can, again, see better success from your website. And then we're finally going to wrap up the month with episode 197, talking about how you can use and feature sponsors on your website in fun and creative ways. Um, this is often something that you do with your events. You probably give them a listing on the website, but let's really figure out a way to make it more valuable and give them a little bit more exposure so that and give you more things to promote when it comes to the event so that you can up those sponsorship dollars and give them more visibility we're also going to share some ways that you can use your website to highlight sponsors year round, not just during the event. So that's what we have on deck for you in March. You can check out episodes wherever you stream, watch video versions of the episodes at the firstclick.net slash YouTube, and check out all of the show notes for all of these episodes with additional resources at the firstclick.net slash podcast. For now, I hope that you go and subscribe wherever you listen so that you don't miss out on the episodes when they launch. I'm so excited to dive into March with you, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode.